Welcome back to another episode of The Lost Codex. We'll continue today's lecture on the history of the Eridar with our guest speaker, Archivist Agairun. Today, he'll introduce you to the Second Duumvirate, as well as some of the key orders and individuals who played important roles throughout Eridar history. We continue where we left off with the respected and wise leader of the Eridar, Velen. Although Velen was revered and beloved by the Eridar people, he did not rule them alone. Eridar society was led by political regimes that consisted of multiple proficient leaders. While our chosen leaders would and could have made excellent and respectable rulers on their own accord, their unity and strengths made for a much stronger leadership among our people. Velen ruled our people during the time of the Second Duumvirate, and beside him stood his closest friend and most trusted ally, Kil'jaeden. Kil'jaeden, who was as brilliant as he was charismatic, was revered and admired for his intellect, wit, and cunning. Like Velen, Kil'jaeden was a prodigy of Eridar arcane mastery. While Velen was the calm voice of peace, clarity, and wisdom among them, Kill Jaden's strength lay in his determination to push the limits of the Eridar progress. Revealed in the puzzling mysteries of the vast, endless cosmos. Together, Kill Jaden and Velen ruled over Argus and led the Eridar through an age of peace, harmony, and unparalleled magical innovation. Although the Second Duumvirate ruled over the Eridar of Argus, the two leaders looked to a council to assist with the many branches of Argusian society. Some of these councillors served as advisors to Velen and Kil'jaeden, while others represented the different orders of the Eridar across Argus. Among the most important of these orders were the Artificers, the engineers who helped transform Argus into the Jewel of the Cosmos. These artificers primarily worked with a mineral known as Argonite, and through its strange magical properties, developed a power source that fueled our wondrous technologies and magic. From matrix operators who powered our cities and town centers, to the crystal smiths who forged weapons and defense armaments, the artificers of Argus made up the very framework of our people's advanced civilization. Working alongside the Artificers in their ever-constant battle to further advance Eridar potential were the Masters of the Arcade, the Ogari. The Ogari consisted of three smaller orders, the Consulate, the Scholars, and the Wakeners. The Wakeners specialized in the magical schools of conjuration and arcane binding. The leader of this revered order was a sorcerer named Thalkil. Thalkil was an Eridar like no other, his magical prowess rumoring to have rivaled even that of Velen or Kil'jaeden. Thalkil's dedication to the Wakeners led the Eridar into a golden age. With Thalkil's guidance, the Wakeners pushed their exploration to new frontiers of summoning allowing them to conjure the arcane entities that assisted in the construction of Argusian architecture. Thalkil himself devised and created machines that helped focus and draw upon the arcane energies that lurked deep within the planet. Yet despite all of his success, Thalkil was never satisfied. He thirsted for new magics to push the limits of our people, new methods to call upon the untapped powers that lay beyond the Eridar's reach. Thalkil scryed and plumbed the depths of the Great Dark, reaching far beyond Argus for any source of power that hummed and radiated. And one day, Thalkil received an answer, a dark, distant voice whispering in his mind. Hello and thank you for watching our second episode on the Eridar history. If you haven't seen me yet, 
My name is Jeffrey and I'm the video producer for The Lost Codex. Recently I started to stream some of my behind the scenes work on our episodes on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash lostcodexlore. For this episode I streamed the animation phase, so over two evenings worth of stream I basically animated all the main page animations uh, you've been seeing uh, for the last five minutes. We'll be uploading a time lapse of these streams to YouTube in a couple of days, so if you're interested in that stuff, stay tuned. If you want to follow us on social media, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also on our Twitch channel. If you want to support us, we also got a Patreon page and a new Kofi account. We're actually working to rebrand our Patreon page, and we've got a lot of cool stuff and we can't wait to share that with you guys. Thanks again for watching our videos and for the support you've shown us in 2017. See you in the next one.